Hi, I'm Casey Collins. I'm a member of the Hillsborough Tree Board and I am also a landscape designer. As we approach the fall season, I wanted to take a minute and talk about our fall gardens and specifically the benefit of leaving your leaves. One of the most valuable things you can do to support pollinators and other invertebrates in the landscape is to provide them with safe winter cover. This is easily done by simply leaving your fallen leaves as well as any dead plant material in your garden like seed heads or dried stems. I know a lot of gardeners and homeowners are drawn to the aesthetic of a nice tidy lawn which is why we hear so many mowers and blowers going this time of year um, but the reality is that all that mowing, blowing, and raking is actually removing a bit of nature that is essential to the survival of dozens of species and creatures that contribute to a robust local ecology. Butterflies, moths, snails, and tons of others rely on fallen leaves to see them through the winter. As just one example, species like luna moths and swallowtail butterflies um, disguise their cocoons and chrysalises as dried leaves to blend in with the real leaves. Even if you want to remove leaves from your landscape, you can rake them into a leaf pile in the corner of your yard, or you can rake them into your planting beds or around the base of trees to use them as mulch. Using your own leaves as mulch actually provides valuable organic matter and helps build up healthy soil. Leaf mulch has the same weed suppression and moisture retention properties as shredded wood mulch with the benefit of being entirely free. So many of us consider leaves as litter um, and spending time and money and resources to remove them from our landscape, but leaves are not litter. They provide vital food and shelter for butterflies, moths, bees, and so many others. This fall, we hope you will seriously consider leaving your leaves.